Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today we're talking about this amazing 1990 Mercedes 300 SEL that was sitting for 10 years. When the person got this car delivered to him, he hit me up uh, and he was asking for my help. So I helped him out. We actually had a really long conversation with, uh, you know, um, working on this car and bringing this car back on the road. Uh, the first thing the person did was work uh, on the fuel pumps area. I think he replaced some hoses and, you know, took care of that stuff. That's usually the first thing that needs to be taken care of when uh, getting one of these amazing machines back on the road. tested the compression on all the cylinders and it was pretty much equal and there was no compression issues at all and he started doing a lot of cleaning on this car um, he even replaced the fuel distributor and um, he removed the throttle body actually and there was some crazy disaster underneath that throttle body that you're about to see right there Actually, the first thing I told the person to do after seeing this video clip is to check the spark plug wire routing because I thought that, you know, maybe the spark plugs uh, or the spark plug wires are not installed in the proper orientation. So uh, he was saying that, yeah, everything looks good and he double checked, triple checked everything and, uh, you know, it's still running the same and he's done so many checks already and uh, so we've been scratching our heads thinking of what is going on, why it's still running like this.
I've been helping a lot of people over the years to get their cars running. Uh, mainly focus on old school cars, and um, I, I would be scrolling marketplace across the country or even across the world, and uh, I would see a lot of cars for sale that are not running, and I would just randomly message those people, those sellers, and I would ask them if they need, uh, you know, if they're mechanically inclined. If they say yes, then I offer, um, you know, to get those cars running. I would offer my help and you know together we would uh, get a lot of those cars back on the road which you know makes me really happy and uh, that's what I've been doing a lot of times that's one of my other ways to save these amazing old school machines is to just uh, you know offer my help to uh, people who are selling those cars that are in uh, non-running condition or have been sitting for a while wires are chewed up here got it a new battery and cleaned the intake manifold, the throttle body, and all of that stuff. The distributor was replaced, the ignition coil, some chewed stuff up here as you see. But overall it's looking good. Now it runs and drives. The fan clutch, I had to repair that, it wouldn't engage. The oil had came out, so I ordered. Hi Vito, this is my new to me Mercedes 300 SEL 1990. As you can see, it's a beautiful car, pretty good shape. It's been sitting for almost uh, 10 years before I acquired it. During those 10 years, it's been sitting outside. That's why the paint and everything is faded. The headlights and everything, the headlight doors, the paint on the roof, the trunk and the hood. I've replaced the, I took the grill insert out to give it a fresh clean and uh, a fresh paint. Um, painting it in black. Tires are dated 2014. I'm going to take it for a wash, detail it, clean it and i'll take another walk around video once i clean it up i removed all of this so i can get in there and clean everything out i didn't want any dirt to sit in there and cause rust so i took all that stuff out and i'm gonna wash the car detail it and i'll take another walk around hey vito this is after the wash exterior uh, wash cleaned it a little bit I'm gonna have it repainted probably if I can find a good deal. I got the grill, I'm gonna install it, clean the windshields and everything. The car looks amazing. Beautiful, beautiful car. It's running a little bit shaky and rough. The idle is a little bit rough, but hey, it came from a non runner to a, this. The, the gauge is not working. It's probably the cinder or the wires are chewed up or whatever. Have to figure out. But overall, this is what it is. <laughs>